I'll take you on my walk with me this morning. Call it Walk and Talk with Fit. So I just wanted to share a little bit. So as most of you know, I'm on my weight loss journey. Been on it for over a year now, right? Okay. Over a year now. I lost like 130 pounds so far. Still got not too far to go, but still a little ways away. I think I'm about 40, I say about 40 pounds away from my goal weight, but um, I just wanted to share. Um, I had a change of my mindset, so I lost that 130 and just being transparent. I got complacent. I got comfortable. And I'm like, oh shoot, I lost weight. People are starting to uh, acknowledge that I lost the weight and they're like, like, dang, Phil, you lost weight. So I think I got a little comfortable. And I, uh, yeah, I just got comfortable. And so I kind of started to, I started to, uh, kind of step back a little bit, wasn't going to the gym as consistent, wasn't, uh, I even started implementing like old foods that I cut out and I'm like, man, and I noticed the difference and I'm like, yo, yo, I had to snap out of it, but I had to change my mindset because <clears throat> I kept, like I set a goal weight, but I kept thinking about that, that date. Like, all right, way out. Like, say, for example, say by June, I want to be 195 pounds. I'm just throwing that number out there. Instead of me just worrying about today, I'm stressing about, you know, June, the 195 pounds. And I'm on that scale every, every other day. Like, man, why is the scale changing? And so I had to change my mindset and just realize this, this weight loss journey it's it's a it's a one it's a lifestyle so it's not like just something that you just do for a couple months and then you're like oh i'm good once you it's a lifestyle and it's a lifestyle change and it's something that you got to keep up for the rest of your life and uh, unfortunately that's just the way it is so i had to re reset my mind and kind of get back to it and just be like all right talk to myself because i'm i'm not I could be impatient sometimes, like, if I want something, I just go and get it, and I just be, like, making poor decisions. So I made up in my mind that I'm going to take it one day at a time, and that's all you can do is take it one day at a time, because things happen, you know, and, and also, too, not being so hard on myself. You're going to have those days where you fall, and you just have a bad day, and you're just like, man... You gotta just get up, pick yourself up, and keep pushing. Don't worry about all those times that you fall. Now, I say this. You know, a lot of times we're like, oh, it doesn't matter how many times you fall as long as, long as you get up. After a while, you have to start learning from why, why you're falling. What is it that's triggering you? What is it that's causing you to keep falling? So, so you can change that. For me, what kept making me fall by doing the, uh, working on the yard out here, so that's why it's so loud. But uh, I had to change my mindset. So my downfall was my mindset. I was getting frustrated because I wasn't seeing my results. I wasn't seeing it as quick as I wanted it to be. But I had to learn how to be patient and just take it one day at a time. Like, bro, look back. I, I, the other day, I was uh, reading my journal, and I was just talking about my weight loss journey. I'm like, dang, I have come a long way. I even looked at old pictures of when I, you know, taking pictures of the scale, and I'm like, okay, bro, your, your hard work has been paying off. Calm down, and just take it one day at a time. And so that's, that's what been my new mindset. So now I'm back on my journey again. I never stopped, but I got lax and I got comfortable. 
like I got comfortable like I uh like I uh hit hit my goal already <laughs> I didn't did I lose a lot of weight yeah I did am I feeling better yes did I get rid of diabetes yes um did I have to I, I mean no medication now um so I did all that but that's just part of the ultimate goal so I had to get back on my grind I had to get get a little bit more strict on myself and and I don't know about y'all, but my biggest, my biggest thing is sweets. Like, I can go without it for a while, but like, you know, once you get that taste of sweets, like my birthday just passed, my daughter's birthday just passed, so we had cake. And I was like, oh my Lord. So it was like a down world, uh, 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 it was just a spiral, I was spiraling out of control. So it's like, man, so I had to get my mindset back right. I'm like, all right get it together let's get it together another thing that I was struggling with like getting up at 5 a.m to go work out I was doing it before so that would be my excuse but oh, I'm tired I'm gonna get up and go so I wouldn't go to the gym at all for the, I say about a good month or two I didn't go to the gym at all I may walk every once in a while kind of stay active but I wasn't going to the gym so uh, so I had to change up my mindset. I was like, all right, what I'm going to do is, since I got to get up anyways, got to take my daughter to uh, daycare, get on my gym clothes, drop her off at daycare, go to the gym, and then boom, I'm up already. So instead of going to the gym at 5 a.m., I'm going to the gym at 8. You know what I mean? As long as I'm going, that's all that matters. So basically what I'm saying is, don't get discouraged. This lifestyle is, is, a, is a daily journey, one day at a time. Keep pushing. Try to stay active. If you can't get to the gym, try to at least walk around your block. Do something. Um, that's what I try to do. Like right now, this morning I went to the gym, did my weight training, and now I'm doing my walk. So my goal, I set a goal for myself is go to the gym, walk i want to go to the gym at least three times a week setting realistic goals you know saying i'm gonna go to the gym five days a week okay that's a little stretch but if i say i'm gonna go three days a week okay mondays wednesdays fridays i go to the gym but i'm walking every day so every day i'm still doing doing something staying consistent so the days that i don't go to the gym i walk further Instead of doing like a, a mile and a half, I may do two miles. Saturdays, you know, if I'm open, instead of doing two miles, I might do four miles or three, three and a half miles, four miles, whatever. So that's what, so that's what I've been trying to do. So I just wanted to get on here and just share with you guys. So I know I'm always just sharing pictures and I don't be talking to you guys. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about my journey, where I'm at. Um, I got complacent, I got satisfied, but doing that stalled me. Where I wasn't, I wasn't losing any more weight. I wasn't where I was, I wasn't gaining all the weight back, but I wasn't lo losing the weight. So I, it was taking me longer to get to my goal. I should have been at my goal point right now. But because I got complacent and because I got uh, stagnant, and then I also kind of got, I like, lost my weight a little bit. Then I had to snap it together, get it back together, and, and get back on my grind. So here I am, back on my grind. And so today's Wednesday. Uh, I've been to the gym two times this week already. I've walked every day this week. Uh, so stick with me. I'm going to get to that goal. And I'm going to see. Once I get to that goal way, my next goal way is 250. Once I get there, I'm going to see how I feel about it. If I, if I, don't, if I don't like it, then I'll, I'll, I'll maybe go down to 225. But I'm not going under no 200. That's just ridiculous. I gotta stay. So I'd say between two and a quarter and 250. Just, it just all depends on how I feel and what I look like. Uh, but yeah. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to get on here and share it with you. So, have a great day active even if it's just walking to the to the 
and in your driveway, around the block. Do something. Get active and get out. It's not, it's beautiful out here. Can y'all see the sun shining? I love it. It's nice and cool. It's the longest it's been this cool in Florida, and I'm loving it. I ain't even complaining about it. I get to wear my little sweatshirt, or you know, my big old sweatshirt. But I wear this sweatshirt, you know, it's big on me to remind me how far I've come. So, still got a little ways to go. So, stick with me, y'all. Y'all have a great day. Make today count. Talk to y'all later. Peace.